What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 10 of the Atomic Bear Show. And I tell you what, when you talk about doing live streams and getting everything set up, I thought it would be a smart idea to just try to reset everything an hour before the show. So, if I look super weird in the camera, that is totally my fault, still working with everything. But, we've got a cool giveaway that we're going to be doing tonight on this little... It's so the Atomic Bear Pouch, but honestly, this thing is actually really cool. What's up, everybody? What's up, Jenny? What's up, Logan? And, of course, poor K Bakaz is in the house with us. And, again, flying solo, but we're going to be doing a giveaway. We also are still doing the sign-up for the Survival Kit giveaway. And tonight, we're going to be talking about chemicals, whether it's chemicals that you're using to clean with, chemicals that you keep in your house, and Jeff has kind of got a few things that we're going to be going over. Then I got a trivia question for y'all. But I will quit rambling. Welcome to the show, guys. And let's bring in Big Jeff and see how he's been doing. What's going on, man? Hey, Matt. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be uh, again on the show. It's our 10th episode. Yeah. Um, it's not a lot. But for us, like we started like late December. And uh, for me as well, it's just the first time that I do so many uh, live show. I'm definitely not like a performer by any means. <laughs> so it's very cool to uh, be at the 10th ten episode. And uh, the feedback has been great. And that's just cool. And uh, the week has been also very, very nice. Uh, we just uh, finished um, revamping the website. So we have a lot of new imagery, a lot of new... Um, the menu is a bit clear, clearer, and there's a lot of things we've done on this site. So cool. I'm very glad with this being not finished, but almost totally finished. Yeah. And it's been great. And um, got a few things about myself, a nice multi-tools. It's a Gerber um, multi-tool. I love it. Just played with it a bit um, uh, just today. And I love it. And is that the multi -tool? moving around here. Is that the multi-tool that you can throw open the front of it in the pliers come out exactly yeah exactly I, I don't know how to throw it out but you basically you can open the thing out oh, like it's this got a slide yeah but yeah it's it's pretty small and you just squeeze the side you open it up and then you have your um pliers um uh, and you have like something that looks like to be a uh, tungsten right in the metal here it's, it looks to be very sharp and very uh, very tough uh you have drill bits on the side uh let me we tried to get this out anyway, so uh, <laughs> yeah, like that. Right. So you have this, and then you have your drill bits that you can. Uh, if you have a set of drill bits, you can put them in in there, and you can uh, you can uh, screw whatever you want to screw or unscrew. Uh, there's this little protection that you can just pull. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know if you see it. Yeah, and all these little knives and the little gear. Uh, that is um, pretty nice. Yes, like, is that you know, your everyday carry? Yeah. That, yeah, that's what you nice. carry Yeah, dude. I like yeah. that. So, yeah, I wish we had a nice uh, multi-tool that, like, I have some ideas on how to make one that would uh, be a, a little more practical, easier to uh, to get going. You know, often with, with uh, multi-tools, you have to pull the, the knife. It's not natural. Right. You like to have, like, you know, yep. use it as a knife. It's a knife. Uh, you want to use the pliers. It's, like, fast and easy to get them out. So just ideas running there. But, yeah, yeah I, I love these things. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Well, what's up, not the FBI, who just says, oh, I'm out. What's up, Bobby, Timmy? What up, Dale? Monica, again, interesting ideas is in the house with us. And AJW. But, guys, again, stick around to the end of the show because we're going to be giving away the Atomic Bear. And it's almost like a little mini bug out bag. I mean, this thing is stacked, and I'll go over it in a little bit. And, oh, you got a new product. It's tomorrow, isn't it? Or is it tonight at midnight when you're launching the survival kit? So survival kit yeah. is going to launch tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and we have a giveaway that is still going on. Like uh, people yeah, from the last out. show got, I haven't publicized it yet. So I, I thought that I would, I would keep it pretty much close to people who are following us, watching us. So they have a lot more chance to win. And tomorrow I will announce another giveaway about the survival kit. And it will be a lot more brown. Brought, uh, brought open to a lot more people so then we have like a lot more people coming in but there will be a separate giveaway for that other sort of crowd so i'll have our, our followers our fans first and then our secondary fans after so it's the way i decided to do it because 
um, it's just nice. People watching or spending time with us, giving us, giving us like uh, ideas, advice. They're there all the time. So I want to make sure that uh, that um, they're rewarded for that. It's, uh, it's so awesome to. Uh, that is. So yeah, uh, survival kit is going on, is going out. Um, I think it's available on the website as we speak. But I haven't talked about it. I haven't sent any email, any announcement yet about it. So just on the show. So uh, pretty much secret for now. Yeah. And like he was saying, if y'all want to go to the atomicbear.com slash kit and sign up, all it is is your first name and your email address. You get a 10x multiplier whenever he goes and does the um, drawing for it. And that's only for the people that watch this show. You know, people can still sign up, but if you're watching it live, got the 10x right there beside it so chemicals man what made you decide to go with chemicals me and jeff were talking and we're kind of like you know what do we want to do with the show we had some few ideas last week we've been talking back and forth and he was like man let's do chemicals and i'm like okay because chemicals you can really take it anywhere and what i mean by that is it doesn't just have to be something that you're cleaning with you know you can clean tools with it because i'm as soon as you started saying that i started brainstorming a little bit but I want to just fill you out before I start pulling these things out. <laughs> what were you thinking as far as like household well, chemicals? Yeah, you know what? I, I'm a chemist by training. So I did a PhD in chemistry. So I'm a doctor in chemistry, which doesn't mean it's going to be useful in, in this business. But my thinking is always around like um, not always tools that are things you can use, but uh, things you will need or if, if you're, you don't have access to them, what would you not, what would you like to stock a bit just in case you're caught from the world like from the the supply of chemicals for two weeks three weeks a month three months if it happens which one do you, should you be caring the most about so they can be used chemicals are obviously everywhere in our life shampoo uh, <laughs> toothpaste yeah. uh, everything we eat has chemicals in it like sometimes a vinegar is chemical right uh, that's what I categorize as chemicals. So I was just thinking like when you clean your gun, the, the oil in this, like you need to stock like three liters of oil to clean your gun or do you, you need to, um, you know, like, like you start thinking and it just, you just say, well, if things go wrong, like a, a little bit of chemicals can change a lot. And I, I have a lot of, I, I've been a lot uh, thinking a lot about this and I'm sure I'm, it's not comprehensive, right? Because there's so many things you can think about. And I, I would like to know, like, you guys uh, on the chat, like, comment. Please tell us what chemicals you want to keep with you, like, what chemicals you want to, you think you, you, can, you cannot go without, and what are you piling or stocking right now in case you need it or you have stock. Obviously, water is a chemical, but it's, it's an obvious thing, right? You, we right. all think about that. But what else? Well, so, I got you, a question what, for you, and I don't mean to interrupt you. I'm sorry. But Not sure, yeah. whenever you were talking about chemicals, and when, I don't know if this is one that you would always need, but there's two that I never seem to have enough of, or I can't find it. But do y'all know what Goo Gone is, or Dissolve It up there in Canada? Do y'all have that? Like if you have, it? yeah, like stickers, and you peel them out, and yeah, everything acetone. is real sticky, and you can spray it on there and wipe it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. And man, even when you're pulling like old Velcro off of something. But the dissolve yeah. it right there will get it off. And then, like, um, I also have the the soap with the grains in it. And it's, uh, yeah. I think it's the Goo Gone brand, but there's a uh, orange, it's called orange something. But it will get the grease off your hands, you know, because yeah. you put grease under there or oil. But, you know, those two things, as soon as you start talking about chemicals, they don't really have to do with survival. But those are two things that well, I need to stay stocked on. But I, I think it has to do with survival. If you think of mm -hmm. like uh, things to clean your hand, like imagine like you need to 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 repair cars, you need to get things fixed. Even like especially when you cannot rely on get, going to the shop to get new stuff. If if it happens, like, you have to be able to fix things. Or if you know someone who fix things, and you like you guys just form a community, you need to have these chemicals to help you like clean your hands after you've done it. You need grease. You need oil. You, it's it seems easy, and you watch like shows like the The Walking Dead, and they're with their cars, and even two years after the zombie apocalypse happened, they're still running cars. What you know? What I don't believe it. No, it's, it's a show, obviously, yeah. right? But 
you know, chemicals, like, well, do you have the grease? Can you change the oil? Can you, obviously you can scavenge, but you know, there's, there's some limitation in there. So I'm just, I think you're, you're right to say that it might not be the first thing you think about, but they're important chemicals for survival. So I, I like, I like these things, cleaning your hands, uh, washing stuff. And, and sometimes it makes a difference between uh, using something that's been put in the trash or is, seems useless because it's so dirty with oil and stuff clean it and it's brand new you know yeah i was thinking also another one and you know I, I don't know why i'm going back to i'm just thinking the stuff that i would need a lot of but even having the little small cans of wd-40 yeah i think would be ideal now is that classified as a chemical i guess it would be yeah yeah it the is D-ruster. what i mean yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it is yeah, and yeah. but throwing a small can in your bug out bag and also wd-40 is flammable so even yeah. if you wanted to use it to start a fire, and I'm just, I don't know, I'm, I'm literally just thinking of some more chemicals, but WD-40, the Goo Gone, and the degreasers, I don't know yeah. why those are three that came to mind, but I don't really think of the vinegars and things as much as I probably should. Now, I guess with vinegar, you could cook with it, and then it's also cleaning, right? But are yeah. there any, uh, can you use anything else for vinegar? Well, vinegar is very, is very key for um, if you, if you want to um, preserve your food, you can can or you can make a, a, like so a vinegar solution, and you can keep meat, you can keep uh, vegetables, you can keep a lot of things in um, in uh, in vinegars and vinegar because the pH of vinegar it's an acid, pH being low, it means that bacteria won't be able to grow um, uh, in. Um, and vinegar, so that's why vinegar is used a lot for conservation. So yeah, vinegar is important. Of course, you can clean. Um, you can. Uh, I have a list of things. Actually, I just prepared a bit my thoughts, but um, the scaling. You know, uh, you got something that is very like uh, anything that goes with water, that, with running water or uh, water from a lake or any anything, any source of water. Eventually, you, you add up you scales. Add up vinegar will help you to just dissolve the scale uh, and you can also use it as a disinfectant uh, because um, if you use a, a good proportion of vinegar water uh, they say i read today about 50 50 you put like half water half and you can use it as a, defense, a disinfectant instead of using like you know uh, hurtle or you know the, the big uh, big brands out there with all sort of chemicals a lot of scent vinegar is not as uh, you know as uh, right. citrus citrusy yeah. But it does the work in terms of disinfecting your uh, your uh, your workplace if you're butching, if you're so vinegar can be used in that, and it's you can eat it; it won't kill you, right? So it's not like using right. like bleach or something very strong. So yeah, vinegar is can be useful for uh, many things, but conservation of food, preservation of food is a big one. Yeah, and right here in the chats, let's see, we've got some people saying disinfectant or disinfectants. Um, deodorizing um and then yeah. uh bobby timmy is saying that he keeps lotion around yeah because if it's dry wind i tell you what chapstick i started using yeah. carmex i guess it was back in high school got addicted to it and i have to have chapstick in my bug out bag i bought the big things of it off of amazon and i just leave them in there because i know yeah, if it's ever never. if shit ever hits the fan i'm gonna definitely need that and then let's hey, see what else you know get. what yeah matt like you and I, mm -hmm. we need sunscreen. <laughs> yes, we do. Sunscreen, right? Golly, yep. <laughs> that and somebody was saying, or JJ was saying bug spray. And Oh, yeah. I, and when you think of chemicals, like, I guess sunscreen, you know, I've got it in there and I've got the bug spray because I'm down here in Florida. I mean, there's going to yeah. be mosquitoes and, of course, I need sunscreen. But, you know, you don't really think about those being chemicals that you might need in a bug out survival type situation. Because I right now I don't have sunscreen or bug spray. I have like little mosquito bands in my bug out bag, but I don't have either one of those. Wow. Hmm. Hey, and the thing is, like, imagine you don't have access to stores to to to, to supplies. Yeah. Like we need to. Learn. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, but how do you make sunscreen? Maybe someone in, in the listening knows. How do you make sunscreen without going to the pharmacy or the store? Is there a way to take like more, like, you know, like primitive ingredients or raw ingredients and make something that will protect your skin? Apart from uh, putting a lot of, uh, you know, 
dark color in your skin or something like that right. that will act, you'll feel bad with that it's you're gonna be very hot and uh, i know but definitely a sunscreen mosquito mosquito one is a uh, mosquito uh repellent is a big one too i think um, you can use pine yeah. needles and i could okay. be wrong for mosquitoes um don't you know but then I've, I've hunted out of some pine trees and i got ate up by mosquitoes so i don't know how much you know how good that is <laughs> But I've never actually taken them off and rubbed them on. But I heard that somewhere, and it's been recently. But aloe vera, oh yeah, the aloe, um, aloe vera. Aloe, oh yeah, yeah. that's uh, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Um, let's see who's that. Oh, Dominique. He's saying that the uh, he was the iodine tablets that you put in water. I've got a few packages of those. Yeah. But what about iodine in general? You know that that you would. Yeah. Yeah. Did exactly. You? That's a good. That's a. That's definitely one of the uh, the top on my list. Uh, wait, let me check what I have there. Uh, iodine. Yeah. So actually, iodine is is um, is something you want to dilute in water. So they, they sell it like in two percent solution, three percent solution. Mm-hmm. And you can use this to uh, disinfect or to sterilize your water or kill the bugs. There is a certain proportion. Like I think it's five drop per uh, liter, or a liter would be about like what. 30 ounces, five drops if you have a clean water and you just want to kill the bugs. But if it's like cloudy water, you want to add more, like 10, 10 drops. And you leave it work for five to 10 minutes and then you can drink uh, your water. So iodine is good for that. It's also good if you have a, a cotton and you're afraid that it will be, it could be get infected. Mm-hmm. You can use iodine for that. And yeah, so neutralize the radiation exposure. So so what happened is like basically we all need iodine, iodine to function, especially our thyroid gland needs the iodine. So that's why they add iodine to salt also by the way in North America because we don't have iodine in the ground. So if we don't have iodine in salt or in a added artificially, we might suffer from different diseases. Oh wow. So they I didn't add, know that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you know that? I didn't know that, no. Yeah, yeah. So I you see I you will read iodide right. salt. Because of that, so you need iodine, especially in North America. We don't that, that have that naturally in our food, so it's added and um, it's important. But if people are exposed to radiation, uh, they have um, uh, radi- they get radioactive iodine, and they they just treat people with iodine to to displace the iodine from the body to clean it and reduce the um, aftermath uh, impact. Yeah, hey, man, my so, I don't know uh, if people can hear it. I'm gonna um, keep talking, man. I gotta. You see my yeah. webcam going in and out? They can't see it, but I know they can hear it. But here we go. Don't I'm going to go fix it real quick. No worry. I want to bring up the another one. I, I'm sh- I'm seeing it. Oh, crazy glue. I like that one. Uh, super glue, crazy glue. Uh, Richard, uh, is it Richard? Uh, crazy glue. Michael. Michael said that. And yeah, it's on my list too. You get the crazy glue is useful uh, not only to stick stuff together, but if you get a wound, you can use the glue if it, if if it's not dirty and you think it's infected. Like in that case, you don't want to close the wound. But if you have a cut, crazy glue can be used to stitch your skin together. And that's a, before you see the doctor. If if you have a chance or unfortunately you see the doctor, mm-hmm. crazy glue can uh, prevent you, you bleeding to death some, in some cases. Obviously, if you have like super uh, open um, cut in mind, that do much. But yeah. for a minor cut, you know. I've got scars on my hand. I was taking a knife out of a rack and it comes down out of it and bam i still got a scar here and it was i mean it was bad so i don't have stitches or anything so sure enough i just have these little packs i got them off of ebay you can get like 60 things for a dollar and it's only a little bit in there but i was just and i had it all on my hand and i think without that you know i had to kind of pull the skin and try to do it but Anyway, I uh, that's the only time I probably ever used it. But that right there, I'm glad I had it because, I mean, it was deep. You know, it fell. But anyway, so super glue is actually a good one. I need to put some of that in my bag too. You know, yeah. I don't realize how, like, I always think that I'm good to go. And then I'll start pulling stuff out that I need. And then I'll say, oh, well, let me do a review on this. Oh, I got zip ties. Let me go get them and I'll use them. So I need to just pull my bug out bag and just go through everything. I don't know. Yeah. But what else totally. you got for chemicals, man? Another one, ethanol, or just what people call alcohol, but ethanol is just one type of alcohol. And yeah, obviously you can drink it and have a lot of fun, which, which it's a story on its own, but 
Uh, you can burn out uh, ethanol. You can produce it with food. Uh, there's multiple ways to produce ethanol with, you know, um, with corn, corn and with yeah. different things. Yeah. So that's one thing. It's a fuel you can burn. When you burn ethanol, you don't have all the smoke that you get if you burn wood or things. So it's a cleaner fuel in that respect. So if you if you got to clear to to uh, to um, make a little stove like the one we've done in episode five, for example. Um, that could be an, an, a nice fuel you can use for that. But ethanol is also a good disinfectant. You can kill germs with it. Um, and it can, um, oh, one thing I wanted to mention is you have two types of, of ethanol that you can buy right now. You have the drinkable ethanol, which is what we find in wine and vodka and all these spirits. But you also have the high percentage, percentage alcohol denaturated. They add a bit of a something you don't want to drink. I think it, they add a bit of methanol most of the time, but I'm not sure if it's always the case. And it means that you don't want to to drink this. It's not drinkable. It's not good for consumption, but you can burn it. You can use it for to clean stuff because ethanol is also very good to clean grease and uh, to clean uh, um, maybe not every type of grease, but some type of grease. So ethanol is, is a good one. And you can drink it if you, uh, <laughs> if you yeah. need to or... Yeah, you can also clean a wound or clean your like kill bacteria with it and mold and stuff. So it's a good one. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got any other ones, man? We um, I know man, we got this giveaway, I but there. I was gonna say you um, you had you said you had a big list. I'm almost done with the most important thing. Yeah, no, go baking ahead, man. Soda. Baking soda. You know? Oh yeah, baking brushing so your we teeth. We all have this. Yeah, yeah, brushing your teeth. I didn't even think about yeah. it. Yep. Yeah. But not just that. With baking soda, um, you can clean a lot of things. It's a good way to clean pans. Uh, it's a base, but it's a mild, mild base. So um, uh, you can use it uh, for uh, I have skin scrubbing. Uh, it, it will just remove some of the germs, and it, it can clean your skin. And it's not too hard. It won't burn your skin as if you use a, a more um, a stronger uh, base. Um, you can use it as a um, to to reduce the itching if you get bitten by an insect as well, uh, because of the uh, the lower the, the 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 pH is higher, it just reduces the felt uh, the, the the feeling of itching. Mm -hmm. And some people say you can use it as shampoo. I never tried it. I'm not not willing to try it right. unless I have to. Uh, and um, there's another one that is pretty cool. It's extinguisher. So. If you get a fire and you throw um, uh, so baking soda on it, because of the the chemical nature of that that powder, uh, it will just it will just uh, free up uh, uh, carbon dioxide, and this will remove the oxygen from the uh, the fire. So if it's a big fire, you will need a ton of it. Obviously, right. you use an extinguisher if you have one, but you can if you have a fire in a pan, you can throw um, uh, soda. Um, uh, baking soda on it, it will it will help to just take care of the fire. Yeah, like yeah, an oil fire, fire, like something that you don't want to throw water on. You know. Yeah, 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 exactly. Bread, you would throw. Okay, yeah, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Let's see what coconut oil we see in here, and then yeah. we've also got. Let's see what else we got. Absolute oh moonshine. Yeah, I tell you what, my dad had an old thing of moonshine and. Every time I'd have a sore throat, he'd get and he'd put a little honey in it and he'd boil a lot of it down. Whew! It would just uh, make your eyes water, but <laughs> your throat is not sore anymore after you do that. Zip stitch for cuts. I'm not sure. I don't know what zip stitch. You know what that is? A uh, zip stitch. I imagine it's um, uh, it's a, um, uh, some sort of liquid you put on your. Like uh, they also have like a um, second skin or um, the way to call it. I'm, I think it's the same thing. But okay. I'm not 100% so it's just sure. instead of super glue, yeah. that's kind of like the thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so, Phoenix uh, Blue is saying that uh, bacon soda also helps with stomach issues. Yeah, that's true. Because of the 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 the, uh, the pH, the higher pH, mm -hmm. and it's a base. So basically, because you have acid in your stomach, if you have like um, heartburn, um, reflux, you oh, know, yeah. and you have um, stomach pain from uh, producing too much acid, you can drink a bit of that and um, it will just calm down the acidity of your stomach. Now, on the long term, I don't recommend this as a treatment now. It's, if, if 
things go bad or if it's prescribed by a doctor, by someone who actually knows what, what is doing. So in the long term, I'm not sure it's going to make a huge difference if you really have a problem, but it can appease your pain when it happens. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you had to pick one, what's your number one going to be off your list? Water on my list. Um, I think, oh man, it's hard. I, I want to be able to clean a wound, you know, so whatever I need to clean a wound, I have hydro, hydrogen, might be iodine because That's iodine what I was is thinking. very versatile. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking mine would probably be iodine as well. Uh, I might have to ditch the WD-40 and go with the iodine. <laughs> but man, that was, um, you know, whenever you sent that to me, I'm like, you know what, how's this going to, but no, man, I actually, um, that, that was pretty neat going over some of that stuff because I need to throw a few more things. I actually need to get a few more things and put them in my bug out bag. And look at this segue I'm fixing to throw in right here, Jeff. Speaking of bug out bags, boom. We got to give away on one. Yeah, man. I want to show you how, how to open this thing fast, you know. Oh, what so is that? The way it's built. I'll oh, show yeah. You. The way it's built, you know, like there's a Velcro on top. So I like to put, uh, put an American flag in, on the top here. I love it. Cool. Uh, you can put whatever you want. You can remove it. And it's laser cut, so it's very clean. It's also moly, so you can add like small moly component on top. But the thing is, uh, if you really need to access to it, there's a handle. There's a, a strong Velcro on top, and the um, the zippers exactly are designed to open fast. Huh. Now I just <laughs> everything went out, but um, yes. So if you need to access it, and you want to attach your stuff in it, unlike what I've done, if you have medical stuff in it. Mm -hmm. uh, medical, um, you know, if you have like a tourniquet and uh, this thing here, uh, I can vent, you know, for uh, in case you get um, a gunshot or uh, a cut where your um, your thorax could be um, cut through your, your lung. So you actually want to put that on and uh, keep one in your, uh, um, yeah. And I, I use it often when I, I go hike for a hike. Uh, I will put my essentials in there. There's a Moly uh, attachment uh, system in the back, so you can put it in your backpack or you can put it in your belt. So it's pretty nice for that for that reason as well. And inside, um, you know, you have different. Now you've seen, you've shown it. Maybe with your camera, it's better than my uh, webcam. But basically, you have the elastics there, and there are more elastics in there, and mm -hmm. a bit of um, yeah. So it's a nice little pack that I think people can use and. It's not a bug out bag. It's too small for it, but you can right. attach it onto it. It's easy to access um, because of the moly uh, moly system in the back. You can attach it to your backpack. It's an emergency thing. You can have access quickly to your your stuff, and that's beautiful. Yeah, I, I love all of this product. You know, there's some products that you like more than others. Yeah, this is one of which I like uh, quite quite a bit. Yeah, and it's just I mean, there's so many compartments in here. And with the mall, and then when you add the Velcro stuff, anyway, this is pretty cool right here, Jeff. So we got a cool giveaway now. What we don't want to happen is last time we played a movie clip, I played it for a little bit too long, and anyway, long story short, show got pulled. Blah blah blah. We don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna play a quick little segment of this movie clip. If y'all know it. The first one in the comment section that can guess this movie will go home with this bag right here. Now, if you don't know it, I'll play a different clip of it, if that makes sense. But maybe y'all will know it. It's definitely got to do with survival. So I'll go ahead and give you a hint. But guys, if y'all ready, I'm ready. Let's go ahead. Y'all let me know what... Man, look at this. Don't even know where it's at. Y'all let me know what movie this little clip is from. Is there anybody here? Guess not! Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And, you know what we didn't do, Jeff? What? We didn't do the hack of the week. So, oh, man. Yep. I've actually, um, I got a video. It's not a very long video, but while I pick a winner, I'm going to play the uh, hack of the week, man, if that's so, cool with you. So, yeah, what do they have to do? They have to, to tell what the, what's the title of the movie? Mm-hmm. Comment it in the, uh, in, like, okay, good. So just 
Yeah, I just write what's the the title of the movie, and uh, is it the first one to get it? Yep, first one to get it. I've, I've seen people okay. kind of, and I've, there's some pretty good guesses over here. But let me uh, let me find out yeah, who the first it. one was, because somebody did, I think, get it right. Now let me flip over and play this clip. All right, so previously we showed you how to go ahead and make some good fire starter just using a pencil sharpener and a stick. Now, let's just say that you have this started. You don't have a fire starter. However, you have a flashlight and some chewing gum or gum wrapper. So go ahead, get you a piece of paper, a cotton ball, anything like that. And you might not need it. However, it does help to start a fire a little bit better and then just put it over the shavings that you have. Now, let's go ahead and you get a gum wrapper. So, right here, as you can see, I've cut it to where in the middle, you want it to be pretty thin. Now, gum wrappers will only work if it has the foil on it. All right, so you want to have your negative part right here. Now, let's see if I can do this correctly. So you want your small part to go ahead and be touching your cotton or your fire starter. And then just like that, you've got your fire started and you can feed it with leaves and things like that to go ahead and keep it going. So just like that guys, and I know there might not be a whole lot of lighting, but with just a small double A battery. Anyway, y'all get the idea. That's kind of the... <laughs> Little, if you, but I will tell you this if you have a gum wrapper, it's got to be like the extras, you know, juicy fruit. I went to the store and got juicy fruit. I was like, well, juicy fruit has the little uh, aluminum wrapper. Well, they don't have it anymore. So make sure that it has the aluminum wrapper, but that and a little double A battery. Now, we had some funny guesses in here, Jeff. We, uh, the first one was uh, Dominic. He was like, wild something. And I was like, uh oh, who's coming in? And then, People are like, I know it, I know it. Antarctica, the Revenant, the Great Wide Open. We had Alaska. We had the Revenant again. Wild Alaska, Wild Alaska, Wild Antarctica, the Great White Way. But we had two almost back-to-back. -back, and the winner on this one is going to go to Kira Rogers. I guess I should have pulled it up on the thing. Bam. So right here is when people started rolling in. <laughs> Some people are like, oh, another movie clip. <laughs> and then uh, right here, Kira Rogers got it into the wild. And then J.J. Hart was two down from that with the same answer. But I was wondering if anybody was going to get that one. That's why I was like, well, if you can't get it, I'll actually, um, you know, play another clip of it. But did you know that movie? No, well, I actually, I haven't seen the clip, right? <laughs> Because I'm seeing you right now, oh, I, right. for some reason the. <laughs> what is it? So uh, what what is it, Matt? What's the title? It's Into the Wild. It's a I like Into it. The Wild. Yeah, I think it's like 2007, but I actually okay. bought it on DVD. I really like it. But okay, I will I will make sure to watch it. I I don't think I've watched it. That's a true story. I'm very story. bad with with. Sorry, I'm very bad with movies because sometimes I watch a movie, but I don't remember titles. So I'm like, oh, yeah. ah, I'm not seeing this movie. Then you start watching it again. It's, oh, I've seen this movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Into and, the Wall. I'll watch it. Cool. And that's kind of where my movie stuff stops. You know, I don't watch many movies anymore. So 2007, as you can see, that's kind of my little, <laughs> when I was just on this whole movie binge. But congratulations, Kira Rogers. You've got the little survival pack mini bug out bag. What do you call this thing? Like, what's the, oh, the eye pack It's pack? an eye pack pouch. Yeah. Individual first aid kit pouch. Boom. And there's a little 15% yeah. off your next purchase right here on the tag. So, a little added bonus. And, uh, Jeff, you need to tell her what she uh, needs to do in case she doesn't know? Yes, please. Uh, Kira, just write to us at show at theatomicbear.com. S-H-O-W at theatomicbear.com. If you, if for some reason you can't, you don't remember, whatever, you can write to support. And we'll help you with that. But I, I personally go to uh, check the uh, our, our uh, emails there. So send us your shipping address and a phone number for shipping purposes. So the UPS or USPS, whoever is shipping, 
can call you um, if there's a, anything. So um, this is what they require. So shipping address and uh, your um, telephone number. That's it. Cool, cool. And guys, if you didn't win and you're still watching the show, again, go to theatomicbear.com slash kit, email address, name, and sign up for the giveaway. And when, you, when are you going to, are you going to do the giveaway tomorrow? Or so we're gonna, weekend? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do the giveaway tomorrow for, uh, for the first wave of people. So this mm-hmm. is going to be a selective small amount of people. So honestly, this is probably the giveaway where you have the, the most chances of winning ever. Um, uh, apart from when you're watching the show and trying to guess on, yeah. on the, it's, <laughs> uh, this is the, the, your chances are pretty high and the price is worth uh, 50 bucks and obviously shipping is included. We just ship it to you. So it's, I think it's a great price. And it's a great kit as we uh, we've we've done a like full review last week. So I think people will like it and um, I hope so. Uh, and uh, yeah, so yeah. it's your chance. Just get in. Yeah. And, um, you know, if you don't know what kit he's talking about, when you go to the atomic bear dot com slash kit, there's a video that you can watch or you can go watch last week's episode and kind of get to where, because that was the almost the entire episode because yeah. we were talking about the launch and we dive deep into it. But again, guys, if this is your first time watching us, hit that subscribe button and we are going to be doing this every single Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So guys, y'all know where to find us. Thanks for watching the show. And Jeff, you got anything before we get out of here, man? Yeah, man. Thank you very much, Matt. Again, that's a pleasure to meet every Thursday night. Thank you, guys. Thank you, gals. Like, it's a, it's an awesome time. And uh, have a great week. Take care. Uh, be safe. Be prepared. Uh, just um, prepare to uh, for the future. But don't go crazy. Have fun while you're doing it. For sure. And, guys, like you were saying, have fun doing this. And if you got any <laughs> ideas on the show yeah. that you want us to do, man, we could talk about anything on it and also i need a closer y'all gotta help me out with this thing but thanks again for watching everybody hit that subscribe button if you're on youtube facebook like the page and we will see you next thursday right here on the atomic bear show